programming the Z2000D thermostat. Switch 1 is used to lock the thermostat after setup is completed. Moving switch 1 into the on position will lock the thermostat. Do not set switch 1 in the on position until all setup functions are complete. Switch 2 is used to display the space temperature, duct temperature, and set point in Celsius on or Fahrenheit off. Select Celsius or Fahrenheit before proceeding to the thermostat setup. Switch 3 is used to select two position on or fully modulating off damper control to best suit the specific application requirement. Switch 6 is used to choose display of heat or cool on the LCD. With switch 6 in the off position, the LCD will display the heat or cool icon. With switch 6 in the on position, heat or cool will not display. Switch 7 is used to choose display of the space temperature and set point on the LCD. With switch 7 in the off position, the LCD will display the space and set point temperatures. With switch 7 in the on position, these temperatures will not display on the LCD. Switches 4 and 8 are not used in this application. The two additional switches in the lower portion of the thermostat can be disregarded if you are not using Modbus communications. Function key A on off. When the Z2000T is not locked, this key will allow the thermostat to be turned on or off. Function key B status key. Pressing the status key displays the unit number, zone number, duct temperature, and damper position. Keys C and D, up and down. These keys are used to increase or decrease the set point, as well as change thermostat setup values. Key E, setup key. This key is used to toggle through the thermostat setup menu. Key F, enter key. This key is used to enter changes, as well as exit the setup menu. Apply 24 volts power to the thermostat. The LCD will momentarily display all icons. To enter the setup menu, press twice and hold the setup key until the word damper appears on the LCD. Setting the minimum damper position. Press the setup key again and the LCD will display the minimum damper position. The factory default is 10%. Position may be adjusted in increments of 10% using the up and down keys. Setting the maximum damper position. Press the setup key again and the LCD will display the maximum damper position. The factory default is 100%. Position may be adjusted in increments of 10% using the up and down keys. Setting a unit number. Press the setup key again and the LCD will display the word unit. The factory default is 00. This number is used to assign the Z2000T to a particular HVAC unit. Use the up and down keys to assign a unit number from 00 to 99. Setting a zone number. Press the setup key again and the LCD will display the word zone. The factory default is 00. This number can be used to identify each Z2000T thermostat wired to a zone panel or when used in multiple standalone applications. Use the up and down keys to assign a zone number from 00 to 99. Setting the heating limit. Press the setup key again and the LCD will display the heating limit. The factory default is 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Use the up and down keys to change the heating limit setting. If using a zone panel, it's recommended not to go above the factory default. Setting the cooling limit. Press the setup key again and the LCD will display the cooling limit. The factory default is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Use the up and down keys to change the cooling limit setting. If using a zone panel, it is recommended you not go below factory default. Setting the actuator speed. Press the setup key again and the LCD will display the actuator speed. This is the time it takes the actuator to drive the blade fully open or fully closed. The factory default is 90 seconds. This is a critical step in the Z2000T setup since the thermostat can be used with a variety of 24 volt actuators. If you are unsure of the actuator speed, place the actuator in the fully closed position. 
then apply 24 volts to common and normally open. The time it takes to drive the damper blade fully open equals the actuator speed. By pressing the up and down keys, you can change the speed in 1 second increments from a minimum of 5 seconds to a maximum of 199 seconds. Press the setup key again and the LCD will display the Modbus communications address. The factory default is 01. You can disregard this step if you are not using Modbus communications. Press the setup key again and the LCD will display the temperature calibration offset. The factory default is zero. Typically it is not necessary to adjust this setting. If calibration is necessary, a high quality electronic digital thermometer must be used. Place the thermometer sensor probe next to the thermostat sensor and allow five minutes before comparing the temperature readings. Use the up and down keys to adjust the temperature calibration. The range is plus to minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Press the Enter key and the Z2000T will save the setup menu settings and exit the program. The LCD will display the space temperature along with other normal operating functions. To lock the thermostat, remove the thermostat from the subbase. Move switch 1 into the on position. Return the thermostat to the subbase. A padlock icon will indicate the thermostat is locked. If it is necessary to exit the setup menu before all setup functions are completed, press the Enter key and all settings will be saved. To check thermostat status points, press the status key twice. You can then toggle through the HVAC unit number, the thermostat zone number, the duct temperature, and the damper position. When the thermostat is not calling, only the space temperature is displayed on the LCD. The lock icon indicates that the thermostat is locked. Users can use the up and down keys to change temperature within the set point limits and the status key to review the status points. When the up and down keys are pressed, the thermostat will display the word set. The set point can then be changed within the set point limits. When the thermostat calls for heating, the word heat will be displayed on the LCD. When the thermostat calls for cooling, the word cool will be displayed on the LCD. Damper Position Override The Z2000T has a damper position override feature to assist in air balancing and bypass damper setup. With the thermostat unlocked, press twice and hold the setup key until the word damper appears on the LCD. Damper override to open. Press the up and down keys until the word open appears on the LCD, then press the enter key. The damper will remain open until the override is cancelled. Override to close. Press the up and down keys until the word close appears on the LCD, then press the enter key. The damper will remain closed until the override is cancelled. In order for the Z2000T to control normal damper operation, the override must be cancelled. Press and hold the setup key until the word damper open or damper close appear on the LCD. Use the up or down key until only the word damper appears on the LCD. Press the enter key. The thermostat will resume normal operation. For technical support, contact us at 888-652-9663.